Did you know that you can run Windows apps and games on Android? That's right. You can run Windows EXE files on an Android phone or tablet. Though you cannot directly run an EXE file on an Android OS, the good thing is that there are some Windows emulators available for Android. We are going to use free and open source emulator called Winlator. With Winlator, you can enjoy your favorite PC applications on your Android device. So in today's video, let's see how to run EXE files on Android using Winlator. First of all, you need to download Winlator APK and OBB image files from GitHub. So, search for Winlator GitHub page on your browser. Open the GitHub page, Winlator by Bruno Dave 85. Tap the releases link. Download the latest Winlator 1.1 APK. Then scroll down. Tap on Assets on the old 1.0 release and download the Winlater OBB file. After installation, launch it. It will automatically close and show you an error because you need to place the obb image file inside android's obb folder. To do so, copy the obb image you just downloaded. Then navigate to your android folder. Then obb folder. Here you should see this com.winlator folder. This folder was automatically created when you launched the windows app. You need to just paste the copied obb file inside this folder. Next, open the winlator app again. And this time, it'll run and install the obb image file. Now, you need to create a container for running the Windows system. So tap the plus icon. If you have a Snapdragon GPU, you can leave everything on the default settings here. However, if you have a Mali GPU, change the renderer to virgi. You can also make other changes according to your preferences. For example, I'll change the screen size to 16 is to 9. Then I'll allocate all the CPU to this system. Select the GTX 1070 GPU and increase the video memory to 4096. If you want to run a game, you can also enable the show FPS option. Then go to the drives tab. By default, your phone's download folder will act as the D drive on the Windows system. You can add more drives by assigning specific folders to them. Finally, tap on the tick icon and wait for it to finish. Once the container is created, tap the three dot and tap on run to boot windows. You can now install exe applications on this windows system. Your phone's download folder is your D drive. So from here, you can access any exe file you have downloaded from the internet. To show you, I am going to install Audacity which is a computer application and not available on Android devices. You can just run the exe file as you do on a computer. Guys, do not close the file manager. If you do so, the Windows system will crash. You can just minimize it in the taskbar. After installation, you will see the audacity shortcut on the desktop. You can launch the app from here. You can add an audio file to edit. I can add an audio file and edit it without any issues. As you can see, it's just working fine. I've also downloaded the latest Firefox exe file. So let's run it. It's showing a message that Firefox needs Windows 10 x64 or newer to run. 
If you also face this issue, then you need to apply a workaround to fix this issue. For that, go to the Start menu. Click Run. On the Run dialog box, you need to type Wine CFG. To access the keyboard, press the back button on your phone. Then, from the side menu, select Keyboard to open the keyboard panel. Tap Wine CFG and click OK. Here, from the Windows version drop down, select Windows 10. Click Apply and OK. Now you can run the exe file again. This time it won't show the Windows 10 requirement message. Press the back button to make the keyboard disappear. After installation, let's launch it. Although the latest version of the Firefox browser was installed on the system, it was not launching. There may be some compatibility issues. So I'd suggest you install an old version of any browser you want to use. To show you, I'll install Firefox 45, which is pretty old version and should work perfectly fine on this system. I can also use this browser to download any other exe file. For example, let's download an old version of VLC player. Now, click on the download file to install it. As you can see, VLC is also working fine. In the same way, you can install and use any other Windows application of your choice. Guys, you can't use a physical keyboard and mouse with this emulator. You can only use the on-screen keyboard and touchpad for navigation. Tap on touchpad help to see how to use touchpad. And if you wish to play a game, then enable the input controls. Here, select RTS and press OK. Now it shows the on-screen buttons for playing any game. Guys, I installed two games. One is Stardew Valley, another one is Warcraft 2. First, let's launch Stardew Valley and see if it works or not. As you can see, the Stardew Valley game just crashed after running for a while.
Now let's launch the Warcraft 2 game. Once mighty army of Azeroth lay among the blackened and charred remains of Stormwind Keep. Those that escaped fled across the Great Sea, bringing tales of the suffering they had faced at the hands of the Orcish Horde. as regional commander. My lord. All right. The Warcraft 2 game is just working fine. But as I told you, you can't use a physical keyboard and a mouse with it. So you have to play with these on-screen controls which I don't like. And of course you can't run demanding modern games on it. Overall, based on my limited testing of the app, I'd say that gaming is far from an enjoyable experience on this system. So you should only stick with old Windows application if you want to try it. So guys, this is how you can use the WinLater app to boot a nearly fully functional version of Windows on the Android operating system.